Uh, talking about prevention of blindness through supplementation, uh, we did another video recently on AREDS, the age-related um, eye disease study. Um, <clears throat> it clearly showed a decrease in macular degeneration or age-related uh, blindness. Uh, it was very interesting. Uh, one, it looked at um, antioxidants, vitamins A, C, E, and zinc. Uh, it showed uh, decreased uh, disease associated with it. Interesting uh, to note that zinc is also related, or, or not enough zinc, or an elevated copper to zinc ratio is also associated with dementia, Alzheimer's. Also, it's very interesting to note that um, embryonic tissue uh, is related between the retina and the brain. So you start making those connections and you think, you know, maybe A, C, E, uh, and E, and it's already been shown that zinc um, would also decrease dementia. Now, those are all... Uh, immediate or more short-term effects. Here's the question. How about long-term? Uh, if you take um, the, uh, the AREDS uh, supplements, A, C, E, and zinc, and you give them, what about, uh, it, it decreases uh, macular degeneration and blindness uh, short-term, but what about long-term? What, what if you follow these people? Well, this is, that's what this video is about. Uh, Long-term follow-up. They did 10-year follow-up on the AREDS uh, study population. Did it help? Um, we'll talk about that in just a minute. But first, a, um, an introduction. Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D-B-R-E-W-E-R. -E -E Dr. Brewer, uh, founder and medical director of Preb Med. Um, heart attack, stroke, dementia, cancer, uh, disability prevention. Now, AREDS, uh, this is not AREDS 2. AREDS 2 actually goes into some other supplements to see if they prevent blindness. This is AREDS, the 10-year follow-up. <clears throat> And again, AREDS, the 10-year follow-up on vitamins A, C, E, and zinc. Uh, this is published, again, uh, bad printer. I've gotten my second printer, and I'm still have, I'm having problems with that one. So we'll get a third one. <laughs> anyway, this was uh, published in the journal Ophthalmology, August 2013. Uh, the author was uh, Chu, E-Y Chu and some others, and basically the age-related, the AREDS study group, the age-related uh, eye disease study group. Ophthalmology, August 2013. What did they? What was the purpose to, again, look at 10-year follow-up on uh, the original AREDS group, looking at macular degeneration and blindness with ACE and zinc? Uh, a lot of participants, original enrollment, 4,757. Um, they got follow-up on 3,549. Um, <clears throat> they looked at progression. They took photographs. They did. Uh, they looked at the history of uh, treatment. Uh, uh, basically did a 10-year follow-up on these folks. Now, here's what happened. At 10 years... They still uh, showed a significant probability of one in one, or less probability of less than one in one thousand um, reduction in the risk of developing advanced macular degeneration. So it still worked, and it worked long term. Uh, there was a significant reduction, uh, less than uh, two in a thousand for development of vision loss. No adverse effects were associated with uh, AREDS, the AREDS formulation with taking it. And uh, here was another thing they looked at, mortality. And uh, what they found, interestingly enough, maybe that's, you see that word interestingly, I'm not sure, I use it a lot and I'm not sure it's a real word, but it was interesting. 
and they saw a decrease in zinc um, in the zinc study group with cardiovascular mortality. Now let's go back and take a quick look at the uh, the visuals. Maybe that that always helps um, helps us understand and uh, remember what we're finding. So this is the placebo group in yellow, and this is the probability of advanced. Um, age-related macular disease. This is antioxidants alone, this is zinc alone in green, and this is antioxidants plus zinc. So as you see, uh, the, the placebo group, the guys that took nothing, had the highest rate of developing um, age-related uh, macular disease. Zinc alone was the next group. Antioxidants alone was the next and the, the lowest uh, group in terms of development of 10-year uh, disease were zinc and uh, antioxidants. You see something similar, but not exactly the same. Uh, in the next slide, this is looking at probability of moderate vision loss. So macular de degeneration in the top slide, vision loss in the bottom slide. And in the bottom slide, the group least likely to uh, show vision loss was what? Again, both of them together, the um, antioxidants and zinc. Uh, either antioxidants or zinc appeared to be fairly equivalent. That wasn't exactly what you saw up here, but again, the conclusion is the same. You need to take both the antioxidants and the zinc to prevent both um, advanced or moderate to advanced uh, macular degeneration and um, blindness or vision loss, moderate to advanced vision loss. So that is, again, not AREDS2 because AREDS2 looked at some other things um, like omega-3s, but uh, AREDS 10-year follow-up. Thank you for your interest.